Hello, my wonderful beings, my wonderful souls. I hope everybody's great. We're going to get started on the message. Hello, my wonderful beings, my wonderful souls. I hope everyone's doing great. Let's get started and see who needs a message. Taurus, Pisces, Gemini, Capricorn, and Aries. I've been sniffly all day, don't mind me. We have uh, Moon in Sagittarius, or Moon in Capricorn. Um, or sorry, why did I say Capricorn? Taurus in Capricorn. Right, let's get started. Let's light our candles. I probably should have done this beforehand. Don't mind the accents. Um, you know me, I, re I like to switch, mix it up and switch it up. I made some witches runes for some of you who are wondering. Um, to add to my Viking runes. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Firefox Fairy. Um, on my page, you will find all my information if you'd like to donate me any gifts, um, anything of that sort. I do make oils. I have crystals. I make and sell crystal sacks. Um, so feel free to send me anything. Uh, check out my wish list. My favorite crystal is green sandstone. Blue sandstone, as you all know, are good for empaths and protecting your energy. Um... Let's get started. Cover your ears. It might be a little loud. I did make a tablecloth for the influences. All right, let's take a look. Angels and spirit guides, what's coming in for my earth signs. This is the Muse Terra we're going to be using. What's coming in, please, for the earth signs? this time. Some of you have been feeling the urge to get on some type of diet. I'm seeing, I'm gazing in the bowl also as I do this reading. Some of you may feel overweight or bloated. Um, there is lots of herbalism that helps with that. I do know. Um, water weight, it will help you not saying anything's wrong with you I don't even know you know so messages for my earth signs what's coming in please angels and spirit guides Hi guide us through the highest good anything negative please return to the sender also um we pray for them and our family is my my family is my viewers families and our pets so we need to do the the present, the self, is the queen of swords. The problem is the four of swords. Maybe spending a little too much time, um, like I said, viewing, scanning your body, your conscience. The third card is the high priestess, so you could be an intuitive. The subconscious is the knight of cups. Not really loving yourself at this time or feel that you're worthy of love. I'm really glad I made this tablecloth, guys. Um, the past is the lovers, so you may have feel like you had a choice to make. Um, the final outcome, the present right now that we're dealing with, number six is the Ace of Cups, hopes and fears for my earth signs, is justice. The external flu uh, influence around you is the chariot and your influence. Number nine is the three of pentacles. We have the ace of um, swords at the bottom. So this is new to me doing this Celtic cross reading. Um, so bear, bear with me. Okay, so the problem, like I said, you're you're overanalyzing a situation in your head. You're feeling like um, you're at crossroads with yourself for some reason. I'm not really sure. Let's get what this Ace of or Queen of 
sword says, um, the, the sword in her hand represents her quick wits and her sharp tongue. The wiz, the widow, like other women in difficulty, continues bravely despite her loss. Her keen intelligence and cool logical approach make her appear aloof. So there are crows and ravens in this image. We know ravens are a sign of messengers between the realms. Um, I'm gonna pull that. I'm gonna pull the runes that reminds me for my earth signs at this time. What do we need to know for the highest good? Guided message, please. So quick-witted. Um, Maybe some of these are a little unpredictable. We do have very intuitive with that High Priestess card. Practical, grounded, down to earth. Earth signs, um, in particular, Taurus, can be very stubborn. Why hopes and fears justice? Why hopes and fears justice? All right, what's coming in, please, for Taurus? Give us a sign. We have the scythe in reverse, change, ending, small, chance of hope, choice of avoidance, lesser danger. We have the raven in reverse, and yin and yang, duality, opposites, and pairs, dark side, hard, cold, wet, negative, night, feminine, and working together. And we have the raven in reverse, just funny. Omen of death, painful ending, secrets told. Transformation for the better, starting again. Third quarter, release and let go. And we have the staff at the bottom. Primial energy, strength, fire, ambition, inspiration, creativity, determination, and unpredictability. Waning, gibbous, introspection. So that's funny that that came out. So some of you may have um, had some, um, like some magic. What is it? Spell work around the new moon. What's coming in, please? For Taurus is at this time. There's the scythe, number 10, completion cycle number, and the snake. Lies, deceit, misguidance, illusions, chaos, confusion, and fantasy. And fear, insecurity, danger, temporary breakup, and youthful inexperience. It's interesting. And then I will I will read the rest of the meanings of the cards and we can clarify and see who's coming towards you. It's coming in for my earth signs, please, angels and spirit guides. Gabrielle is here with us. Michael, Metatron, and Raphael. We have the dog, friendship, loyalty, reliability. So somebody is gonna come in this month and help you with something that you've been Maybe asking the universe to help guide you or reassure you at this time. The bouquet, peace and quiet, a gift, passiveness, and the whip, strife, fighting, perseverance, vigor, energy, and competition. So I'm going to keep that eye with the dog. Thank you. All right, so the four of emotions, the four of cups, sorry, not the four of swords. You may have feel like an opportunity passed you by, or you're simply bored and contemplating on circumstances. So, as a youthful contemplates... Oh, that's the three of cups. Sorry, I need the four of cups. Although two of the cups are filled, the figure wearing the cloak of mourning sees only what has spilled. That's the five of cups. What in the world is going on, hey? What are you? As a youthful contemplates three cups a hand descended from a cloud to offer the fourth you are jaded or bored with life perhaps a bad experience has caused you to withdraw are you traversing a period of stagnation so are you missing out on something here we have what's going on the conscious the high priestess um that's in in a knowing that's virgo energy we're gonna do the night of emotions so you may um secretly have a plan of attack 
that you are kind of coming about in your head to come to terms with a situation or you have a plan of attack, like I said, how you're going to proceed forward and handle a situation that's really been troublesome to you or bothering you. Let's get the Knight of Cups reversed. It means this glib fellow should be viewed with suspicion. He is not what he appears. So this is in your subconscious mind. Um, we have the past, the lovers. So you may have a choice to make regarding um, a soulmate, a new love. The image depicts lovers in an embrace while an angel looks on. Gemini seeks a soul. Mate, a new love. This card suggests love, friendship, and partnership. Also represents the duality of earthly and divine love. So we have number six, the Ace of Cups. You do have love coming in. So that is good news. We're going to clarify. Um, I'm going to use this deck to clarify as well. For you, this is the Gilded Tarot. Five of Pentacles at the bottom. And two, so somebody may in the past um left you feeling heartbroken left out in the cold like you weren't good enough i'm just gonna fix these cards real quick um you're mourning you're grieving you're going through a time of upheaval but that doesn't have to be the case it was just simply the bottom of the deck card you don't have to take it if it's not yours to take if it doesn't resonate with you if it's not your story with all due respect just give me a second i am um, mocd i don't like any of my cards <laughs> in reverse i will take them if they come out that way and such so angels and spirit guides for my earth signs taurus virgo and capricorn I feel like I'm specifically doing a message for Taurus, but um, if you have any of those other placements in your chart, feel free to, to carry on and listen. Something in, in this message may be for you. So for the six of uh, um, final outcome, what is the um, Ace of Cups? Why is the Ace of Cups here? Yeah, see, Five of Pentacles. For my Earth signs, why is this Ace of Cups here? And one more shuffle. You have completed a cycle, maybe with a King of Swords, or you will have a King of Swords coming close, coming to you at this time. All right, we have the Queen of Cups. Let's get one more. So if you're a masculine watching this, you will have a Pisces energy. Nine of Pentacles, someone who's very independent, knows how to who is substantial, who knows how to take care of themselves, who is frothy, could be also have money, um, could own their own business, or just a very hard worker. We have the Nine of Cups at the bottom as well, so Nine is significant. We have the King of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Page of Swords. Yeah, you may have the kid together, kids, and the King of Cups. We're going to leave the king out. So king and queen of cups. We have, oh no, sword, sorry. Let me take that out. Let me take that out. Right here, right here. We want a pair. We want a pair on the table, right? <laughs> king and queen of cups. We'll leave that out. Very nice. All right, so your hopes and fears. You feel like something didn't go into accordance. Um, you will... Most more than likely have a fair outcome in regards to um, somebody's lack of diplomacy, lack of courage to come to you, say in a time when you expected them or you expected more out of this person, they may have lied to you or not done the right thing. So your kind of your hopes and fears is that this person, Ace of Cups at the end of the day, Two of Cups, isn't going to handle their beef or whatever the situation strength in Page of Cups. Maybe they were a little immature. Now they are 
stepping up, getting more in their power. This makes me want to draw my lover's oracle. Who is this person coming towards Taurus and Virgo and Capricorn? I have two placements of Capricorn in my chart. Who is this person moving towards my earth sign at this time? What do they what do they feel towards my earth sign? Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Yeah, this is a passionate union, I feel. Transformation. Um, your relationship with one another is about to deepen love, conquers, and transforms all things. Anything else? This is a beautiful, very significant um, connection, I feel. Only time will tell is at the bottom. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Thank you, angels and spirit guides. Okay, so that's a message for somebody out there who needed to hear that. So show me this um, justice energy for hopes and fears. The devil. The king of pentacles. Okay. We may have the nine of Pen queen of pentacles at the bottom. King and queen. So there may have been another... Um, situation that somebody wasn't forthcoming um you tried giving them everything and then some your heart on their, your sleeve maybe this person is somebody close to you and your your spouse if you are with somebody um and they may have told your person one thing and you were wondering deep in your heart well you're supposed to be this so and so my friend why are you sharing our business we have the eight of wands so maybe you were a little upset about something that happened within the close family and friend dynamic but other than that i don't think it's too major you do have some um patterns i feel you may be clinging on to a king of pentacles may be significant in your life that is also virgo energy and um you need to somehow get out of that you need to break this chain this overwhelming bond bondage to it that you feel you're stuck in but you're not stuck you're only as stuck as you make yourself seem why is this um for the external influence why is this chariot card here that's cancer energy we have libra energy virgo gemini pisces and I want to say a little bit of Scorpio energy here out as well. So we have the Four of Swords and the Nine of, or Queen of Pentacles. I always want to say the Nine of Pentacles, but that's out, that's up here. With the Judgment, that's Scorpio energy at the bottom. Two of Pentacles. So you want to move towards a more chillaxed, um, peaceful exterior inner and outer world um, in your mind you want to relax or you need to relax maybe you've been overdoing it and take a look at primarily yourself this time and go inwards and, and not focus so much outwards on um, who these other people in your life may be um, or pleasing I'm feeling like somebody may try being a little people pleasing I don't know what for but either way don't be an enabler and know when to say no and put your foot down and set um boundaries some of you that's not an issue but others i feel like somebody needs to hear that message so for the um your influence and power that you have in this situation why is this three of pentacles here you know it's funny i didn't even clarify these cards i just skipped right to I don't know, I think maybe the heart of the matter. The Ace of Pentacles and the Magician. So 
somewhere in your heart you're saying my friendship my freedom my independence and my money my my personal and if you tie in personal with money life uh, five of pentacles again seven of cups is important to me because what i feel i have my material possessions makes me feel whole and complete on a whole nother level so you are manifesting the need to be um more closer to friends or your friend group i feel like they make you feel whole and like part of your family in and out words how you know if that resonates for you um that so they have a big influence impact in your life and the way you go about things you handle things and your situations and decisions so some of you that may be very important i understand why i feel the same way all right so we're gonna get um the card that represents yourself which would be the queen of swords the first card out For my earth signs at this time. Yeah, we had the six of cups and the hermit. Secluded, but also not necessarily secluded, but you kind of took a break from maybe taking on too much so you can get back to your integral basics, basics and start out what you need to start out in order to return feeling whole again to responsibilities in your life. We have the Empress and the Ten of Cups. Okay, why is this um, Queen of Swords here for? The present and the self, how you see yourself. Queen of Swords, why is it here for Earth signs, please? Yeah, someone's been, somebody's energies felt um, or been very taxing on your energy. We have the King of Wands, the Two of Wands, hence why you're looking in um, the opposite direction as to maybe what somebody wants or tells you to do or how you feel about a certain situation. Well, let's get the problem. Let's get to the heart of the problem here for my earth signs. Why is this Four of Cups here? We have the sun. Maybe somebody's been riding your coattail. And we have the five of swords. Oh, that scared me. I thought it was going to be the seven of swords. Um, and the five of swords. So somebody's ego and the nine of cups has been kind of making you kind of turn your cheek the other way. We have the eight of cups and the king of wands again showing up. Maybe not. Maybe that's not the case. You could be happy with where you're at right now. Um, if I feel like if this is singles I'm talking to, you know, you're manifesting something very abundant and prosperous and long lasting. That's going to come walk its way through the door here very quickly for some of you. Why, um, we're going to clarify. What number is that? Three, the conscious mind, the high priestess. For my earth signs the emperor and the knight of cups that's almost mirroring your your um energy but it feels very intense like 10 times more intense than the energy i'm picking up for you we have the high priestess coming out with the emperor for a cup so you may not even be ready for or they're ready for this love or I don't know, maybe this is the, what exactly you could be drawn to. I'm not an earth sign. I don't have your guys' energy, so I'm not. I have two placements in my chart, but I'm mostly fire and water. So it's that's a whole new wavelength for me. So the emperor in reverse, this is someone who's cold, detached, shut off from their emotions. We'll get one more. This is your conscience. You feel like you're going to attract somebody or you're dealing with somebody who lacks empathy.
Maybe this person also is not good to be around. They may also be very toxic to you or bring out trauma and know what buttons of yours to press, making it therefore not a good relationship. The high priestess in reverse. Yeah, this feels more like a trauma bond to me. Or this person has a lot of um, narcissistic controlling, manipulative, more controlling, well, both aspects in their personality. We have the four cups here with the temperance. This person's not very balanced. Or you may feel like um, you're sitting in this energy right now if you're mad at somebody or you're shut off emotionally and you're not available. Your heart center is not open, but I don't feel like that's the case. Let's get your subconscious energy with the Knight of Cups in reverse for my earth sign, please. Now, most of my readings are timeless, so whenever you click this, you're drawn to this message um, for a reason. So this, this is meant for you, this reading. You may click it two weeks after it came out and it still may resonate with you two, two years or two months and it still will have um, more than likely messages in it so all right besides that so let's get this knight of a cups in reverse for your subconscious what you can't see um, or aren't really seeing and feeling mentally and physically at this very moment in time, we have the Seven of Wands at the bottom and the King of Wands. Let's get one more, please. Six of Pentacles. All right. You may split your finances 50-50 right up the middle or close to it with a person, a King of Wands in particular. You've been, for the most part, forthcoming. I feel like it's a been a pretty equal and balanced connection for the most part up until this Ten of Swords happened incident with the world. And the Nine of Wands. So if you're not dealing with anybody right now, um, like I said, you may be feeling like you're shut off from your emotions. I don't know why I'm really drawn to the stone in your guys' reading right now for some reason, but it's a very protective stone. And that's the energy I'm feeling right now with you guys. Aquamarine, and it's very protective of its owner, but it also calmly and gently opens that third eye chakra for you guys to see intuitively. So check out some stones other than that, your birthstones. Um, let's keep going. Maybe somebody took your kindness for weakness or for granted, or you may have done that to a person. We're going to also get your person's energy, but I just wanted to see what you guys are, what your energy, so I can get a better picture for who's to come in for you guys and how to handle and what advice to give you guys handle the situation better. Why is this past card here for the lovers, for my earth signs? So if it resonates, please give a like, a thumbs up, or comment below. So I love to hear you guys' messages or um, your comments. I do love it. Why is this lovers here for the past? Ace of Wands, something you felt very passionate and drawn to. Um, maybe exited your life or you've been reminiscing a lot about those memories. We did have the Six of Pentacles. Oh, no, we don't have the Six of Cups, but that's what that would mean. So I feel that energy. Not trying to get into the nitty gritty, but um, you may still have some reserves left for a particular situation or somebody in your life you'd like to expand with maybe in the near future you're just you're holding out until the time's right all right we have the page of swords this person may be younger than you we have the three of wands at the bottom and the two of pentacles could be a business partner they could be your own kid if you run your own family or business um, you're thinking about involving into the family company um, business. Let's get the overall energy with my with my duck. It's coming in. 
the near future for my earth signs, please. Let's get the overall energy here for this reading. I'm actually going to pick these up, guys, and clear, clear the table mat so we can pull more cards. So all in all, I can see why you have your, um, your guards up. For starters, you're afraid maybe to get hurt from the past, dealing with that emperor in reverse there. That can be someone who is very cold, um, lacks empathy, and, <laughs> and shut off from emotions. That's, that's an obvious. All right, I'm going to put this deck away. Oops. I'm just going to pick that up quick and sorry about that. All right, we're going to pull in um, some energy, some advice, what you need to know currently going on. The priestess is showing up again. Gabriel is with us, like I said, Michael Metatron. We have the Fool, Folly, New Beginnings, and Adventure. And uh, Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy, Balance, and Patience. The Hangman. Alright. We do have that friendship, reliability, and helpfulness with that dog energy there. What's coming in, please, angels and spirit guides? This is the Alice in Wonderland Oracle mixed with the um, Goddess of the Moon Oracle. It's not too often I get um, very clear Earth energy uh, messages come through for you guys. I do a lot of usually can't um, Capricorn and Virgo readings, so... My sister's a Taurus, and my best friend in high school was a Taurus. One sign I didn't really understand that well, but now I'm in Capricorn as well. We have uh, faith, surrender, and investigate. Look closely, ask questions, <clears throat> think before acting. And we have number three, realization. So you may be having an aha moment, or you're doing more investigating and realizing <laughs> or being surprised at all the um, stuff you're finding out about. Could be a particular someone or something. The masculine, the unexpected, attraction, and gratitude. So that's good that that attraction card here. This just tells me that if things have been not, you've been wondering, left in the dark, or waiting for a sign from the universe as far as a particular person goes, that is pretty much your yes answer being confirmed that it does have this message is, has to do with um love and things turning around and looking up for you we have it's always tea time eternity endless moments repetition and resilience becoming braver resilience twice now experience growing stronger and fresh perspective we have beginnings uh new moon we had that third quarter there moon and we have nourishment with action. Thank you. We have belong to your own dream at the bottom. Create your own life. We have self love and fear are coming through. We have use your time well. Clock time. Time, pressure, and a rush. Abundance. And who in the world are you? 19, getting to know the new you. And we're all mad here. 23, everyone is a little different. We have find the lesson, discover the purpose in a situation, trust that you are learning the right way, learning to create what you desire. So maybe you're learning how to manifest things now um, and being more in tune with your spiritual, your intuition. We have... I want to be queen, stating your sovereignty and declaring freedom and passing a test. So create your own life at the bottom. Wonderful. 
Thank you. All right. Now, like I do for all my zodiac signs, I pull a color. This could have to do with what you're resonating with. Um, could be a little bit about who you are and your personality traits, as well as as simple as what color outfit or that you're resonating with for the day. I usually go off the color and crystals, how my skin complexity is looking and what I'm drawn to or what I think looks good on me. All right, what's coming in, please? Well, not only that, but colors have like meanings. Yellow is calming, excitement, blue is calm, pink or uh, purple is intuition and pink is love. So whatever you want to draw more towards. Black usually absorbs energy to you and white exerts it out because it's a uh, color of purity. We have ebony and coral and cobalt blue at the bottom. All right, luxury, mystery, maturity, pessimism, which earth signs are naturally on the uh, ne totem scale. They're usually negative pessimists. Earth, fire signs like Sagittarius are optimistic. We have Ebony is a quirky, worldly, and civilized, inviting, and knowledgeable. On the other hand, Ebony is alarming, unusual, and tough to get along with. Ebony has a strong personality and doesn't apologize for it. We have Coral, the color of warmth and acceptance, positivity, and individuality. Coral doesn't possess many unlikable qualities. It may be a little irresistible at times, but it has good intentions. In fact, it seeks to uplift others with its optimism. In addition to this upbeat spirit, it's also welcoming, distinct, and ahead of its time. Coral, comprised of pink and orange colors, which my sister, she's a Taurus, like I was saying, she's four years older than me. She was always a tomboy and um, popular and had a lot of friends, but we were also opposites. Um, so ahead of its time. So yeah, she was very mature for her um, age. She grew up quickly, more quickly than me. Let's keep going. What zodiac signs are drawn to my earth signs at this time that may, you may be dealing with? We have Libra, Sagittarius, Scorpio, and Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius, and Scorpio again. Thank you. All right. Angels and spirit guides, what's coming in for my earth signs at this time? What do we need to know? What messages? Invasion, boundaries, violated, and dominance, stifled, bored, and stuck. There's that Queen of Swords energy. Feeling a little cold, or if she wants to tell you how she's feeling, she's not going to sugarcoat shit. She's going to get right down to the heart of the matter, the nitty gritty. That's uh, Queen of Swords energy for you. And if you're wondering how I learned tarot, I uh, started off in high school, middle school. I learned all my major arcana through horoscope.com. And then after that, in my 20s, about 23, 24, I got my first tarot deck in Florida. I seen a psychic, um, came back home, got another tarot deck I still have to this day. Um, I got a few starter decks. I got this one and this blue one, um, along with the Moonology and Amanda Lace, Lovelace um, deck, and the uh, Kitchen Witches Oracle, and a, a couple other decks. But anyway, so they found their, they got lost, they found their way back to me, one hand, and the, the other hand, I um, was given my first crystals in Florida too. So crystals kind of came with tarot. Um, and dream touchers and stuff like that at the psychic shop in Florida. Anyway, after I've seen a medium and a psychic a couple times, I ended up getting into tarot. I already learned all the majors, and every day in art class, I would um, get into, pay attention to what the celestial planet alignment was in, what zodiac sign, the moon, and everything. So I would work on every day, do the work of feeling what it was like to be in each zodiac signs energy. So I picked up on the energy of that, all the zodiac signs. 
um, read, studied what they were like, the personalities, how they got along with other zodiac signs. And then I finally got my first tarot deck and I started then doing it all on my own. So I've been reading tarot cards now and doing crystals for about four or five years. So that's a little bit about me. Fairy of the green world, the natural world needs you. Mermaid in a koi pond, rediscover your individuality, become the dragon. And snow angel, the signs are already with you. We have sacred beetle armor, you have a mighty shield. The delicate fairy and her friends, or sorry, the delicate fairy and her ferrets changes natural good and yes, it can hurt. Well, we can say friends, however it resonates. We have 21, that's my number. Angel of alchemy, miracle. A twist in the tail, the unexpected, a change you did not see coming, 34. And I also got into um, pendulums, and then from there I made a list of what I wanted to achieve. I wanted to start with crystals, you know, tarot cards, tea leaf readings, herbalism, Chinese medicine. Um, now I'm at runes, wick witch runes, um, the types of witches, and now I want to get into candle oil, spell jar, all that type of magic. So, If you have any um, experience or anything on that, also crystal magic, then feel free to comment below. I do have, um, from that horoscope website, I made a whole list of different archangels. Um, you know, what card they use. Like they use the star card for Muriel. Um, and earth signs, water signs. So basically I got into that angel fuel. I got all these from horoscope.com down at the bottom site map. You can do games, you can do tr dream tarot, what your dreams were. I actually have a 12,000 dream interpretation book. I have crystal books, fairy books. I got a fairy altar, my own witch's bells I made. So I'm really into all that. I have a feather ink pen. I do a lot of paintings fairy door so I'm very crafty and um plants so if you'd ask me what kind of witch I am I'd say I'm pretty much all seven of them a little bit of each one combined we have storm angel collisions of belief uh collision of belief styles attitudes and energies so your opposite zodiac sign if you're a Taurus would be Scorpio Virgo your opposite would be Pisces we had the hangman and then if you're a Capricorn your opposite would be Cancer which my dog's a cancer. Sure, home bot, like home energies. I love being home. So we have Mildred Fairy, time to clean up, which my ex was actually a cancer. And I've had two exes that were Virgos and one Gemini. Pose Brave Flight, you will not let fear stop you this time. Which Pose, my favorite, and the duck. And what else? We have Transition to the Spirit Realm. We have Miracle, and we have Change is Good, Natural, and yes, it can hurt. But you do have protection at this time, and you have all the answers you seek. That's pretty much what tarot is, is not to keep rambling on, but answers that you or questions you already know all the answers to. It's just reading energies. Anything else, please? And this card kind of goes with that bullied energy. If you're dealing with someone stubborn from the past or narcissistic or breadcrumbing, you're not going to let fear stop you this time. We have bats in the belfry. You can achieve great things. Number seven. And we have strange companions and stranger places. Challenges, use your imagination. You can manifest anything you seek, I'm hearing. And Fairy of the Highlands, it's time to be brave. Wolf Moon, I will watch over you so you are not alone. You have a companion here and there's a full moon. You may have done some energy or manifesting over this last Wolf Moon that we had. I know I did. We have Kitsune. Here's the fox. I will show you whom to trust. Number two. Her past returns for a time and love is strange. So someone from your past may be coming back in your future and want to um, talk to you or maybe think about giving love another chance or 
a first chance if you've never been with this person. All right, we have Alice in a sea of tears. Cast away out of your depth, feeling abandoned. Number 11. So we have 111 here. So like I said, I would keep, this is an auspicious time to continue manifesting. If you check out any of my other um, Zodiac or my videos, even if they're not your signs, you will pick up messages there and autumn and fall. And, sorry, spring is a very good time. It's going to be the ripest time to manifest things this spring 2024. Snow White and her animal friends, you inspire trust and confidence. And 13, from death comes rebirth. Uh, Kali, I am Kali. And voodoo in blue. This is telling you to stand up for yourself. Voodoo in blue, back off. Um, this was in my fire signs video. I read that out of the book. It basically says that something or someone is no good for you. And you know that. And you need to not give in to temptation. And basically stray, stray away from this person altogether. Butterflies in gloom. After sadness, happiness, and hope return. 2222 we have here and 333 dress of alchemy alchemy release your power we have the three-headed dragon so i don't know and the golden phoenix something you thought finished first back into life one two 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 three three twenty one frog princess heed wise counsel listen very nice What zodiac deck are my viewers called to? We're going to use my oracle deck. We're going to see what's going on around you. Now, take this with a grain of salt. My oracle is very detailed, and sometimes some of the stuff may that may fly out or be thrown out here at you might not even resonate at all with you, and that's fine. Completely ignore it and just keep... Um, Going with me as we move through this video, take what resonates. D, E, and F, and we have failed attempts to stalk you or spell work back for you. Failed. Because some people, we're living in a time where it's 50-50. There's people that aren't awakened or don't do spells and aren't into that sort of thing. And there's other people that know about it but don't do it or that may actually practice it. So it either will fit like a glove or it's you. It's not at all talking about you so take what resonates leave the rest what's coming in please for my earth signs at this time Taurus Virgo and Capricorn what's coming in please so someone in your life is playing the victim role scapegoat and you may have them blocked this could be that um, emperor in reverse energy, narcissistic, abusive male, or it could be a feminine, however it resonates for you. Playing the, um, the victim role, scapegoat. It's coming in for my earth signs, please. I might smell vanilla, my candle's vanilla. Strength card, energy, Leo energy, force of character, spiritual power, overcoming material power, love triumphing over hate, higher nature over carnal desires. Someone may have addictions or some unhealthy patterns or behaviors. It could be you two collective. You did have the devil energy that you need to look at. We have the devil, um, black magic, discontent, depression, illness, wrong use of force, bondage to the material. That's all simply what the devil card means. And sensation divorce from understanding. Somebody got may have got caught by the cops, or somebody snitched, or collaborated, or done something illegal. A collaboration of some sort. Could be of ill intent, I feel. Oh, some of you could have a new home. Or you're going to be having a new home coming in the future. Moving. Relocating. Some of you may be by water. I'm getting like a breeze, a nice summer healing breeze. We have healing, rest, and recuperation. The sun energy. So the summertime may be very significant for that or mating a Leo. 
or a Leo in their chart, attracting good karma, material, happiness, success, attainment, a good marriage, happy reunions, achievements in the art, science, and agriculture, studies completed, liberation, pleasure, and the simple life. And we have connectically karma, sorry, <laughs> binded or spell work, Connect, karmically connected. I have, I'm dyslexic, so I probably try to say it backwards. Not saying that's a bad thing. Missing a major piece to the puzzle. So you may be not seeing, um, I'm picturing a masculine right now. He's talking to somebody out by the road and maybe this guy does some type of construction or tree work. I'm not sure. Self-employed. This could be your masculine. And uh, he wants to surprise you. Maybe some of you is even thinking about engagement. So if you've been having good um, like butterflies in your stomach, that is the time or to move this relationship to the next phase. We have S, T, and U, first, middle, last, initial. Expect that to happen very soon for some of you out there. Congratulations. We have grass is only greener because it was fake. And we have on a new moon. This person may have got caught or... Um, tried collaborating or you could have tried manifesting um, some some stuff during this new moon for in regards to a new home we have YZ and we have the hermit and secretly in love with you crushing or obsessed feelings I got that energy uh, the hermit Virgo energy silent counsel prudence discretion receiving wisdom from above um, instruction from an expert in your field or simply an attainment of goals Journey may be necessary to gain knowledge. For some of you, they could have ghosted you and be not who they say they are. Many masks. Passed on ancestors are with you, saying that they love you, that they're here. Emperor energy showing up in the world. Here's your energy, the magician and the hierophant in the summertime. Thank you. Let's continue on for my earth signs. This is the fairy tale oracle. Voice, the children of Lair and entitlement, Goldilocks. So you may have kids with your masculine. You're thinking about going on vacation very soon. I feel like you need a break, all in all. <laughs> it's coming in from my earth signs, please. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn at this time. For their highest good place. that children you may have a passed on child also this child has wings in this picture okay we have sister love snow white and rose red there's a cardinal confirmation for some of you or a sibling that's passed on we have the 12 dancing pr princesses enchantment also i want to tell you some of you should really get into fairy um fairies the fairy realm is called the book is the fairy dictionary it's a very great book it has everything in there if you'd like to they also teach you spells but i see all these flowers so a lot of these have to do with flower fairies bluebells violets tulips honeysuckle all of it they're um, snapdragons they're a lot of them are good fairies there can be the dark side but we will, usually you don't get into that but do your research I warn all my people um, because there's a dark and real with the dark side of the Fey realm. Also, they don't live by rules. Their time zones and everything is different. They don't have time in their energy or their exist like their realm. Um, I do have crystals that help attract energies: blue sapphire, peridot, starlight. It's a pretty expensive one. It's like a cross. Um. Moldavite, Herkimer Diamonds, and Blue Sapphire. But 
a spirit quartz or or a super seven all of those um anything shiny they love there's how to call them how to meditate all that stuff's in that book anyway so that's off note um don't work with that energy and you have to be respectful to them as well as they like a tidy home a clean house um, that you're good with animals, that you're loving, and you're also taking care of the earth. And they don't like to be called fairies. They like to be called little people. I don't know. There's a lot that goes into it. So do your research if you're thinking about that. Um, and I know fairies are real for myself. I've actually seen it this big. It was a skeleton of a fairy. The wings, they had four wings. They were about that long. And the, the teeth, the head was like that big, but the teeth were very tiny and sharp. So I know for myself that they really do exist. So anyway, we have the voice, jealousy, ungrounded, sister love, and enchantment. They're very shy. And there's certain things you have to do or should do um, before calling them in and working with them. As well as, because like I said, they have dark. Like us humans, there's good and bad and everything. And um, you want to protect yourself. So we have ambition, tinderbox soldier 11 and secrets 16 rumple stilt skin so somebody's withholding some type of secrets from you right now let's see how important these secrets are if it's a big deal or not we have 28 fairies words the mixie of mill pond memory you may have had a past life something about a past life your dreams the uh, little match girl choice 19 you have a choice to be happy i don't know something about your overall um, emotional and mental state of mind and the snow queen loyalty i feel like someone um i don't know there's you definitely thinking about something here could have to do with family it could have to do with yourself this could have what else what's coming in for my earth sign group why are these messages here? What is this message all about? What do we need to know? You're observing a situation very carefully with those goggles I get. We have uh, Verde Prada wounds. You could also be working with elements. Um, the sea, candle magic, earth magic, water, moon magic. So be very careful about that as well. And... Um, I feel like whoever you are that's doing this, I don't necessarily believe that it's for the highest good, but um, to each his own. This person is very um, powerful and knows what they're doing, I get, with that energy. We have uh, 14 Red Riding Hood Rites of Passage. So you're reclaiming something. You're taking what was yours or what was lost and what's yours back. So good for you. And we have the wood maiden trust, trust that the, that everything that you're trying to, to reclaim and build for yourself and acquire is going to come to fruition. Sacrifice, something is lost. You may have made a sacrifice on accident or something happened where you had to have a sacrifice and it was or taken from you and this is why you're reclaiming your power back, your gifts, 38. A fair brown and trembling and sensitivity. Revelations, the elk fairy. Not elk, the elf. The elf fairy. So this is very, um, I feel like this might even be, for some of you, like a war against somebody or people or a, a clan, a um, cult, a society. It could be like going, bumping heads at each other. I wish I had a deck that would really tell me more about that. I guess I could make my own, but I, I do actually have one I've made now that I think of it. It's like I said, this deck is also very, um, detailed. So before I jump into that, I only do that deck if it's complete, uh, like I said, necessary. And that's going to either hit home or completely miss by a long shot with you. So first I'm going to pull from the Astro Star Seed and see what we're dealing with. If it is something I'll need to pull my deck for or not. 
Yeah, somebody's trying to collaborate, Aquarius energy, and uh, making you uncomfortable, debilitated, sending dark energy, casting it towards you or um, or you are to this person who you feel took something from you. So it's kind of like a rivalry energy. What is this energy all about from the Earth signs? For the highest good, but I'm not going to get into the tiny details because I don't even I can't say I know because I'm not in that energy but I'm picking up on the energy so I'll try to help you out the best I can for my earth signs please what do they need to know at this time what is this rivalry all about We have motion, Mars underneath that, Aries energy. We have something to do with abundance, Jupiter energy. Pinnacle, midheaven, somebody's belief. They could be, um, I'm not going to say like devil worshippers, but they could not believe in God. I'll say that's a nice, a good way of putting it. Um, not that I'm against it. We have Mercury messages, strength. This might have to do with who's stronger than who, um, totem pole, finances, power, money, like I said, rivalry, proving, going at war, who's right, who's wrong, or taking something back, or just taking something in general, tension, emotion. So yeah, we I guess we could pull on it. All right. Anything else, angels and spirit guides in that deck? For me? Yeah, oppositions, confrontation, that just confirmed, and climate. So whoever's doing this is definitely underground, or at least that's where, how I envision it in my mind. Changes. They definitely won't wouldn't let the public see what they're doing, that's for sure. I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm saying where they perform or do their spells, their uh, witchcraft. We have Pisces sensitized and Gemini cross-pollinating. So that means to me that kind of is like gathering together, pulling in like-minded individuals to help them like collaborating energy to build a stronger army. We have sustainability partnership and perception I'll have to invest um, more money if you guys know of any um, dark black magic um, oracle decks or books that I can help gain my knowledge in I would love I'm, I would love to know more about it myself um all right, let's pull my Oracle deck. Angels and Spirit Guides. Somebody may have been a MILF or a whore is what I'm sensing. So whoever this clan is going against, um, they're doing it because this person was, in my eyes, lazy or had no self-respect for themselves. Something may... All right, someone stole... A water sign in the spring, a friend, a friend of yours. This person is physically abusive. Right, let's keep going. I told you this is going to be very specific. Your earth signs. What is this rivalry about? What is this energy I'm tapping into? Theft, thief. Maybe about, like I said, something to do with power. We have justice is coming. You're gaining momentum, you're more powerful, and stripper, okay, I told you, stripper, dancer, or prostitute, this person had no self-respect. Anything else? What else? Clear messages so I can tell. Okay, we have just recently, so I can let my viewers know if this is your story, if it resonates. We have runes, witchcraft, and spell. We have woman in reverse. Made a sacrifice to the, their gods. For their own advantage, power, knowledge, and over or for you. We have scorn, love, an old fling, 
of your current, recent, or ex-partner still feels pain of rejection or betrayal. It's going to be your masculine, that scorn love. We have one to two months ago. Fair outcome in your favor. Okay, yeah, like I said, you're reclaiming something back. Your neighbors, because it said your friend, it could have been a neighbor in your country. Or city. Payback spell, fumble your word spell, try to make you look or seem uneducated and stupid, gossip, stutter, and fade away spell. We have secretly, I made these cards myself, guys. Secretly crushing and loving on someone else, sex addict, horny, <clears throat> quickie, fling, or flirt. For my earth signs, I almost said Virgo Taurus. So specifically specifically could be just a Virgo or Taurus that this is going to resonate for right now. Anything else? Robbed, committed fraud. And we have sent dark and evil intentions to you, possibly even entities and paranormal. Spirit team. Um, ancestors, angels, and spirit guides, gods and goddesses got your back. Revenge spell to get back at what this ex or you did to them. Anything else, please, for my earth signs? Thank you. Uh, okay, at the bottom, we have spreading negativity or gossip. So, yeah, tell me about that deck. Did, was that pretty cool? I mean, did it? Was it accurate? Something to do with a dog. Ten, five to ten years ago, beat somebody up, and a cat. Um, I know usually if there's a spell that want people to fight and cat like like dogs, they will get a piece of dirt or soil from where the scene at, where a cat and a dog fought. That's what it reminded me of. I'm not sure. Take it how it resonates, but there was definitely somebody doing um, some type of magic behind the scenes. So they may have two different locations or spot where they do this, city or in the country, depending on what it is they're doing. They may have items at each location for different things. Uh, I want to I want to pull out more. What's what is this all about? Because we did have the dog come out here too. I'm not saying it has anything to do with a cat or dog. But I'm just want to see what else now after I pulled those cards. Friendship, loyalty, and reliability, helpfulness. So somebody definitely has your back. We have 18 and 17. The stork change, movement, flexibility, moving to a new house. We have that and changeability. For earth signs. The ring, 25. Maybe that's what was stolen. Some type of um, jewelry. Relationships, cooperation, merger, and togetherness. And we have the snake, seven lies, deceit, misguidance, illusions, chaos, confusion, and fantasy. The mice and the scythe. Theft, storage, something is missing. And fear, insecurity, danger, temporary breakup, youthful, and experience. So I feel like there is at least one powerful witch. Um, she knows how to do candle magic really well. I am sensing a feminine. And as far as the other men go, I don't know. I feel there's one masculine. Um, they're both in their... I want to say she's in her mid-20s and he's older 20s, maybe young 30s. I, I'm not sure, but um, I don't really... I feel like he's very dark, but he's not very good either. So he may could be the one that set up someone or set up the situation or was there was gossip or talk or theft going on here or a messenger for this feminine to find out who it was that stole. We have the bowl, the book, secrecy, unknown information, holding back information, keeping a secret and education, like I said. 
the city may be where they do their underground work, candle magic, and then they may live in a country. We have 28, the man, the signifying card for a man, or the partner card for a woman, and we have the bear. That's funny I said the country, because bears usually are, live in the country. Jealousy, envy, negativity, discontent, and irritation, 15. And the tower, 19. Official organization, a large company, ambition, arrogance, and isolation. We have four of the house. Um, so about being protected, 444. Four, four. Private life, father figure, prosperity. So there's a misunderstanding or somebody really has doesn't know what they have coming, some type of karma here for what they have done. I feel like um, the outcome is not going to be good. They are not going to get away with this. Just coming in, please, for my earth signs at this time. Six of Pentacles. So they thought by stealing whatever it was that they stole, they could give out freely to their friends or whoever's involved in this uh, cult or situation, this group of people. We have the Knight of Swords and the High Priestess. Yeah, there's that witch I was telling you. Four of Wands. So somebody may have also brought home this book to their home in secrecy or whatever piece of information or knowledge that was somebody wasn't supposed to have um that wasn't theirs possessions two of swords here um may got found out about nine of cups and the four of pentacles so somebody may have ratted on um this person six of swords Six of Wands and the Eight of Cups. So six, six, six may be significant for you. We have the Sun and the Star. Leo Energy. Aquarius Energy. <sighs> okay. And we have the Eight of Pentacles energy. Somebody's working really hard at um, basically trying to make something work. They're very confident that this is this heartbreak or separation spell, maybe even for some of you, is a revenge spell. They're very confident that it's gonna work let's see how what the outcome is here we got the seven of wands the empress but i feel like this magic is dark so it's it's probably gonna end up backfiring what, whatever you put out in the universe guys you have to know that it always comes back the ten of cups And the Eight of Swords. They wanted to keep someone trapped in their head. They wanted to keep somebody stuck from achieving their gifts. Their God-given gifts. We have the King of Pentacles. And the Strength card. Leo Energy. The Knight of Pentacles. This person is inexperienced and lacks education. They may be a high school dropout. Um, that is in my Oracle deck as well. I mean, this person... 444 doesn't know that you are divinely protected, Earth Angel. <laughs> you are you are an empath. You are an intuitive. You are somebody they cannot touch because of the amount of power that you have, that you're of the light, and you have a divine, you have your spirit guide backing you up. Yeah, I'm going to pull on that. Let's see if Gabriel, Michael, Metatron, or Raphael come out. Angels and spirit guides. I also feel like there's a feminine. Either Ariel or Uriel is also with us. Angels and spirit guides. What's coming in for my earth signs, please, at this time? For the highest good. Yeah, this journey you have to take was meant to be taken alone. Without the extra fuss and hearing all that glitters isn't gold. So somebody thought... 
material things is the end all be all material to the uh, bondage to the material that is simply an illusion it's coming in for my earth signs news at this time yeah you need to have balance patience and communicate with your spirit team there's raphael showing up that's the heart and third eye chakra mainly heart with all the green energies you need to make sure that your heart is healed first before you can take on love encouragement we have attachment the sun and a broken heart you need to release all that pain guilt and remorse strategy We have the thinking woman and we have Gabriel showing up. Thank you, angels and spirit guides. I don't lie and my cards never lie. There was definitely some type of financial constraint. That's why what pushed somebody to do what they did. But we're going to try to get off of that topic in the energy. That's lower uh, vibrating, radiating energy. And I don't dwell in, I don't, I don't um, vibrate at that level. That frequency. Thank you, angels and spirit guides. All right. So what's the overall energy for you, collective? We have the eight of wands coming in and the queen of cups. There's love coming in. For some of you, as others, you have to heal and you have to wait until you have cleared karmic debts and you are healed. Point blank. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. What's your person's overall energy? The Seven of Cups. What's the overall energy between you? Both. The Ace of Cups. The Nine of Wands at the bottom. With the Knight of Wands. So somebody's ready for love, you just have to open that door. Yeah, I don't want to use that deck. Um, that is called the Steam Point in a Way Bay, if you're interested. I got it from Barnes & Nobles for $14, no, $19.99. Alright, any other messages? Let's see what your personal interest is. Or no, we'll get your oracle, then we'll see what your person of interest wants to say to you at this time. Sound fair? Sounds fair. Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for assisting us with this beautiful, wonderful reading tonight with my fabulous earth signs. This is the deck. We're going to break it up. Angels and spirit guides. <laughs> What's coming in for my earth signs, please, at this time? Okay, somebody may have green eyes. Now you heard me say, I don't lie, and my cards most certainly don't ever lie, so. They can change because energy can not be, can be not be created or destroyed energy is can change we are the masters we ultimately decide where we go and create our own decisions and our path in life so that's the only way it would change we have vibrations vortex buzzing frequency mind reality and energy flow that's funny boundaries no drawing the line and so somebody needs to learn, learn how to draw the line is at a crossroads choices and decision we have stay beautiful flawless and impressive and roving eyes, keeping possibilities open, obvious, flirt, and disrespectful. We have um, futuristic visions and innovative, crafty, plan, and trendsetter. Plans and trendsetter. Pull up, heartbreak, devastation, opposites, sending me hilarious, funny reaction and amusement. So like GIFs. Pull up, invitation, a night together. And driving, so like a get-together, and opposites attract. You are both very different. Conflict, tension, and arguments. Anything else, please, for my earth signs? We have no, so you guys might not be seeing eye-to-eye -eye clearly right now in certain situations. 
financial issues are a concern. And Gia, plants, grounding, purification, herbs, herbs, sorry, holistic and earth. So like I was saying, so maybe you should get into um, learning how to manifest and working with things, crystals and plants. Hot mess, chaotic energy, reflection, with needed. We have trapped, control, mental, prison, losing self. The universe, God, source, intelligence, prayer, support, and above. And we have celebrate at the bottom. Accomplishment, reunion, invitation, event, and festival. Let's see what we're at on time. So yeah, make sure that you don't let any negative energy in your field. You already know this, but um, maybe this is why some of these two, in the beginning, like I said, are very on guard and you're protective of that which congratulations all right let's get the other half and we will pull some love oracles actually i want to pull some love right now i feel like you guys are dying to hear i just get that energy you don't could care less about the other stuff you just want to know what's going on in your love life i get it angels and spirit guides what's coming in please for my earth signs at this time in regards to love and their connection, their soulmate, their their person, or who's moving towards them, and their energy. We have un unbreakable love and express your love. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. We have have faith. The angels are working behind the scene to make this relationship flourish. Like I was telling you all along. That door to spirit. We have beware of codependency. Addictive behaviors are affecting your romantic life. We have overthinking. Playing negative scenarios in your head is creating issues which weren't there at first. And we'll get one more. Stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance into your life. We have make the effort at the bottom. This love is worth taking risks. You are called to move forward. And we have deception that came out. Someone was, is wearing a false mask in this relationship. It may not be for all of you. With that in mind, let me get my drink quick, guys. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, just be a little aware of fake people, which you'll sense the energy, especially if you are an empath. This time I ain't coming back for earth signs. Boy, did you piss someone off? Cap um... Capricorn, Taurus, I don't know. This time I ain't coming back. All right. Virgo. <laughs> you are the one for me. We have a Libra. And you are my safe place. I'm hearing that song, um, She Drives Me Crazy, but I heard, you drive me crazy, but in a good way. We have I Admire You. I'm paying for my actions. And don't forget about me. I haven't forgotten about you. I want to be more than friends. And some we have at the bottom, someone's letting go, releasing, walking away, and moving on. What else for my art signs? They love you. I will always love you. If you come back, I would give you another chance. Also, they admire you. Your face is my home screen. So somebody's face is your home, their home screen. And just say you want me and I'll drop everything. I gave you my all but you. Don't even try. That's a, a doobie song. I think. I forgot what song it is, but it's a doobie song. 
I've changed and they envy your persona and personality. Maybe because you're so grounded and stubborn and quick-witted. Month of May. April, May. So Taurus energy. I can feel you too. And nightmares are fucking me up bad about, of us. I can't get you off my mind. Anything else? August, Leo energy, and I feel so tempted by you all of the time. I do have fantasies about you. Maybe they are better left in that space. Ooh, and one more. I don't want this to end. So that letting go card came up again at the bottom, releasing, walking away, and moving on. I'm going to pull some from this Oracle deck. I don't really... I'd say out of five stars, I would give this deck about a 3.2, 3.5. So it's one of those hit or miss things. Depends on, I guess, what kind of state of mind you're in. How excited you are when you're doing a reading of what they're thinking of you. I'm always going to keep it real. I'm not going to cut or cut nothing. I'm Sagittarius. I'm very honest, blunt. Um... And that's just how we are. We get very bored easily, but we all we're also I'm a fucus as well, part of the traveling zodiac sign team. So we know something real when we see it. We're not fake. All right, what's coming in, please? Just a little side note again <laughs> for my earth signs and their connection. I don't know what I want. So your person doesn't know what they want, or you don't, Earth sign. I'm running because I don't want to hurt you even more. I want you to love me for who I am. Okay, I'm not ready. Uh, to reach out to you. We have, I need some space now. Don't push me, please. I'm aware that there's more to it. I can feel that magnetic pull towards you. I'm sorry I lied to you. You are so beautiful to me. Why do I get the sense that somebody has like a low self-esteem or low confidence? I want to be with you, but I'm scared. Yeah. And the energy between us felt amazing. Well, let's see what your thoughts and feelings are towards your person. I feel ashamed of what I've been doing with my life. I don't know how to talk to you. There's still a lot you need to find out about me. I'm sorry for giving you false hopes. I want to protect you from myself. Memories of you are haunting me. I get triggered at the thought of you. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. I want to message you, but I'm scared you might reject me. Your eyes are enchanting. I wish I could have treated you better. And I don't know how to live without you. At the bottom, we have... I can feel your energy everywhere. So that's it. That's what we have. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, it was fun. I'm just showing you a little bit of my stand. Let's 
So yes, it was fun today to get to delve in the energy with you guys. <laughs> um, I actually might pull one more quick little side, no, side deck thing. Yeah, I wanted to pull, um, this Myths and Mermaid Oracle. Angels and Spirit Guides, I don't pull it too often, so I figured now would be a really cool time to to pull. 